graduate students, uh, welcome to Experimental Techniques and Material Characterizations, lecture number 16. I am Dr. Parvez Ahmed. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we will continue our discussion on transmission electron microscopy, uh, part number four. Uh, this is the last lecture on transmission electron microscopy. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we will have a discussions on uh, astigmatism and aberration of lenses and uh, TEM. So let's proceed towards uh, today's lecture, uh, that is uh, astigmatism. So what is mean by uh, astigmatism, or uh, uh, what is the cause of astigmatism, or uh, uh, what's after the drawback uh, that it is, and how we can uh, uh, do the correction for uh, this, uh, uh, this type of the uh, fault uh, in the uh, TM. So astigmatism uh, is an aberration of lenses uh, that causes rays and plane parallel uh, to the optical axis uh, to be focused at different focal points uh, from rays and a plane at 90 degree to edge. So in the TEM, uh, both the condenser and objective lenses are affected by uh, astigmatism. So in sample words, uh, astigmatism is the aberrations of the uh, lenses. So, uh, where uh, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a certain conditions uh, where which the 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 rays and plane parallel to the optical axis to be focused at a different focal point from the rays and a plane at a 90 degree to edge. So, this is uh, some sort of the defect and the condenser and objective uh, lenses. So. Uh, Condenser uh, astigmatism has uh, the effect of uh, distorting the beam to an elliptical shape. So this is, uh, you can see it here. Uh, so this is a sort of condenser astigmatism. And this is on either side of the focus. Uh, so here you can see it here. So this need to be corrected uh, in order to achieve even illumination of the uh, specimen. So all the electron microscopes are equipped with the stigmators, uh, which enable these corrections uh, to be uh, carried out. So uh, the stigmators, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, is being uh, there with the uh, all sort of the electron microscope in order to deal with the uh, stigmation or astigmatisms of the uh, condenser and objective uh, lenses. Uh, the effect of objective astigmatism uh, is that the image appears a uh, streak in one direction and then in the other directions uh, as you uh, go through uh, focus. So the TEM image uh, uh, that you can see it here below, these are the two M image. Uh, so uh, and from here on, uh, you can understand the, the, that, that, that what is actually the, the effect of astigmatism on the uh, temp uh, micrographs are the temp images. So these uh, temp images uh, shows or uh, illustrate that how astigmatism affect the image as you go uh, through uh, the focus. So here uh, you can see the uh, the effect. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's uh, some sort of the uh, create an effect that that we call uh, streak. So the image appears streak. Uh, in one direction and then in the other direction. So uh, somehow it's, it's produced a blur effect. I mean, the image, they are not being clear. So it's produced some sort of the, uh, the blur effect. So this is because of the uh, astigmatism effect of the uh, objective uh, lens. Uh, we, we can also have spherical aberration of the lenses and the uh, uh, transmission electron microscope. Uh, so what is that? In a spherical aberrations, uh, a lens uh, suffer uh, from uh, spherical aberration. If it focuses rays more tightly uh, if they are entered at far from the uh, optic uh, axis than if they uh, enter close to the axis. So here, a spherical aberration uh, is being shown here. So uh, I mean, uh, from the optical axis, normally the rays uh, they, are, they are being focused uh, after passing through the lens. Uh, they are being allowed to focus to the optical center. But unlike that, uh, I mean, uh, uh, their focusing point is different uh, than from uh, the 
optical center i mean some are uh, i mean so at the front of the optical center some i mean even behind the optical center so this this type of the aberration we call it uh, spherical uh, aberration so the exact uh, i mean uh, if you want to cancel this effect or if you want to correct uh, this so here is the correct form uh, i mean so where we can uh, i mean do the correction for this type of the aberration so if you want to correct that so the exact one the corrected one it will seem like uh, this that, that is the one that been shown in the uh, figure b here uh, you can see it here so it is therefore does not produce a perfect focal point uh, so this is uh, i mean uh, this has been uh, shown here so let me repeat it again uh, a lens suffer from spherical aberrations uh, if it focuses rays more tightly uh, that is if they uh, enter it far from the uh, optical axis uh, so that is uh, if you want to enter the, the rays far from the optical axis uh, so uh, then if they are uh, enter closer to uh, the axis so this this is uh, this is the uh, uh, i mean the, the effect that why we get uh, the spherical aberration from the uh, 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 from the lenses inside the cam and this sort of the uh, the concept you already clear with uh, while uh, you study the lenses and your uh, uh, i mean and your a level or o level classes so uh, this is uh, i mean this is exactly the same sort of uh, situations uh, that you have studied there and your basic classes so spherical uh, how do we can correct the spherical aberration so in recent years, uh, spherical aberration corrections uh, have been developed for the transmission electron microscope, and this has greatly improved their resolution power. So aberration corrected cams uh, can have resolutions of uh, 0.1 nanometer or even better. So using these new ultra high resolution stamps, uh, it is possible uh, to image the atomic structure of a crystal such as graphite. Uh, and the good example of that is uh, you can see it here uh, in this micrograph. So this is the uh, I mean the ultra high resolution cam micrograph uh, of the graphite. So here you can see even the atomic structures uh, of the uh, graphite uh, crystal. So this is the uh, the latest stem uh, with the uh, corrected spherical aberration. So you can see, uh, I mean, uh, those sort of the cam uh, uh, which has uh, the factor which has uh, the facility for the spherical aberration correction. So you can get uh, ultra high resolutions uh, micrograph with those stem, and with the help of which you are able to get uh, even the atomic structure of the crystals uh, like the graphite. And a good example of that you can see it here uh, in this uh, micrograph. Uh, another type of aberrations uh, that you can face uh, in cam is called uh, chromatic aberration. So, what is mean by chromatic aberrations, or what is the cause of the chromatic aberration? So, chromatic aberrations is caused by a lens uh, uh, having a different a refractive index for different electron energies. So. Uh, the reason, I mean, we, we are specifying the reasons for the chromatic aberrations. So, what is the reason for the chromatic aberrations and TAM? Uh, so, the chromatic aberration is called by the lens uh, having a different refractive index for uh, different electron energies. I mean, this side of the aberration depends upon the uh, electron energies and it varies with the uh, refractive index. Uh, for uh, different electron energy. I mean, if we uh, if we have such a lens uh, whose refractive index varies uh, with the energy of the electron, so it normally causes a chromatic aberration. So it is present in all electron lenses, uh, but can be reduced by minimizing uh, the energy spread of the electron uh, source. I mean, this is uh, the main solution or the manual solutions, or uh, you can say that. Uh, a sort of the solution that one can or the operator can do it by uh, by him or herself so uh, i mean uh, we say that uh, here uh, so the reason is that uh, i mean it belong to the lens uh, which has a different refractive index for different electron energy so here's one thing that we can do it if we can control the electron uh, energy or uh, what uh, what it mean it mean that if we can reduce 
are minimize the, uh, uh, the energy spread of the electron source. So uh, with the help of that, we can somehow uh, overcome the chromatic aberration. So field emission sources have the lowest energy spread. So uh, there is currently interest, uh, I mean, uh, uh, if we have field emission sources, uh, just like we have uh, some electron microscope, so with that, we can control the energy spread. And with that uh, control uh, energy spread or uh, with the lowest energy spread, uh, we can uh, easily control the chromatic uh, aberration. So there is currently interest in developing chromatic aberration corrections for the TEM, but this is still a quite an early uh, stage. So what it means, it means that uh, uh, at the current stage, uh, we are not able to overcome uh, the chromatic aberrations and the TEM. And the reason is that we need high energy uh, to, uh, to get a better contrast or to get, uh, to get a high resolution in the TEM. So we cannot minimize the energy if we are interested to get high resolution in the TEM. So with that, it's uh, almost, uh, I mean, uh, tell that it's almost, almost uh, not in the range uh, to get 100% controls or uh, chromatic uh, aberrations uh, inside uh, the TEM. Uh, but uh, the people are working on that. Maybe in the near future, we can have this facility in the uh, TEM. So that's all we have for, for transmission electron microscopy. Uh, stay tuned for the next lecture. Uh, from the next lecture, we will start another characterization apparatus uh, that, we, that is called XRD or X-ray diffractions. So stay tuned for the next lecture. Uh, Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>